This comes a little over a month now after 58 people were murdered in Las Vegas and only a week after a terror attack in New York City. Amy Anderson spoke to experts about the ways these horrific events can affect us all. She's live with more on that. Amy. Well, Ellen, if you were one of the thousands of people who just didn't feel right all day yesterday, you're not alone. It's affecting us. Janine Haran works at St. Luke's Crittenden Center and says the piling on of horrific events like yesterday's church shooting, the bicycle trail in New York, Las Vegas, are basically coming in such rapid succession that it's hard for us to process and we feel helpless. That becomes what we call complex trauma. And complex trauma, even when you're not right there, has those secondary and residual effects. It can lead to everything from being hypervigilant to incredibly anxious to not being able to sleep at night. Real problems that can interfere with life. And it's happening in places where we should always feel safe, at church, in school, at a park. That becomes what we call complex trauma. And complex trauma, even when you're not right there, has those secondary and residual effects. Haran says the best thing you can do is make the world a better place for you and everyone in it. Take care of yourself, get together with friends and loved ones, exercise, eat healthy, and it may be the very best time for you to volunteer, something that's positive that you have control of. And Haran says, be sure to reach out if you start to feel overwhelmed and certainly check in on your loved ones and your friends. Make sure no one is isolating themselves. Reporting live tonight in Kansas City, Missouri, Amy Anderson, KCTV 5 News. All right. Thank you, Amy.